Hello my dear friends today we are going to discuss MCQs on Kamala Das before that i welcome you all to our channel best notes tutorials and till now we have uploaded so many videos on MCQs on different writers and uh, this is first time i'm dealing with MCQs on an indian writer so please be attentive and uh, revise all those MCQs one by one for your practice. So today, let's begin with Kamala Das MCQs. And uh, let me tell you another important thing. If you require all the writer's details in PDF form, do let us know. Do comment us so that we can provide you with the same. So that you have material to practice for your net examination. Let's begin with question answers now, MCQs now. Question number one. Summer in Calcutta is a poetical collection of Option A, Anita Desai Option B, Amrita Pritam Option C, Sarojini Naidu And Option D, Kamala Das So here, Summer in Calcutta is a poetical collection by Kamala Das Highlighter says, Kamala Suraya, popularly known by her one-time pen name Madhavi Kutti and married name Kamala Das, was an Indian poet in English as well as an author in Malayalam from Kerala, India. She was born on 31st March 1934 in Punnaya Yurkulam. Who died on 31st May 2009 in Pune? His spouse, sorry, her spouse is Madhava Das. Question number two Which writer has won the Penn's Asian po Poetry Prize? Option A Shiv K. Kumar. Option B Kamala Das. Option C Nijim HKL. Option D A. K. Ramanujan. So here it is Kamala Das who has won the Pen's Asian Poetry Prize. Let's see the highlighters. Kamala Suraya has received many awards for her literary contribution including Pen Asian Poetry Prize in 1963, Kerala Sahitya Academy Award for Story Thannupu in the year 1969, shortlisted for the Nobel Prize in Literature 1984, Kendra Sahitya Academy Award in English, collected poems in the year 1985, Kerala State Film Award for Best Story 1988, Voyalar Award, Neera Mathalam Puthakalam in the year 1997, Honorary Dilit by University of Calicut in 2006, Mathathu Varke Award in 2006, Ejhu Thachan Award in 2009. These are the list of the awards that Kamala Das had received. Question number three. Kamala Das died in the age of 73, 75, 74 and 76. So here your correct answer is 75. Question number 4. Kamala Das adopted Dash in her later age. Option A. Islam. Option B. Buddhism. Option C. Christianity. And option D. Atheism. She had adopted Islam in her later age. Kamala married Madhav Das at the age of 15. The couple had three sons, M.D. Nalapat, Chinen Das and Su Jayasurya Das. Her husband predeceased her in 1992 after 43 years of marriage. She converted to Islam in 1999 at the age of 65 after falling into the false Love of Sadiq Ali, aged 38, who 
was a Muslim League PM MP. Sorry. She announced that she planned to marry her Muslim lover, but she never remarried. On thirty first May two thousand nine, aged seventy five, she died at a hospital in Pune. Her body was flown to her home state of Kerala. Question number five. My story is the biography of option A. Sarojini Naidu. Option B. Kamala Das. Option C. Vivekananda. And option D. Tigor. Here your answer is Kamala Das. My story is the autobiography of Kamala Das. Kamala Suraya, popularly known by her one-time pen name Madhavi Kutti and married name Kamala Das, was an Indian poet in English. as well as an author in malayalam from kerala india my story is an autobiographical book written by indian author and poet kamala das the book was originally published in malayalam titled ente kantha the book evoked violent reactions of admiration and criticism among the readers and critics it remains to date it remains to date the best selling women's autobiography in india my story is a chronologically ordered linear narrative written in a realistic style in the book das recounts the trials of her marriage and her painful self awakening as a woman and writer the entire account written in the format of a novel Though my story was supposed to be an autobiography, Das later admitted that there was plenty of fiction in it. Question number six: Who has said this? I am an Indian, very brown, born in Malabar. Option A: Jayanta Mahapatra. Option B: Kamala Das. Option C: Adil Jussa Wala. option c option d k n daruwala so here option b is correct that is kamala das she said i am an indian very brown born in malabar let's see the highlighters taken from an introduction by kamala das an introduction by kamala das was published in her first collection summer in calcutta in 1965 The collection focuses on love and the pain that follows betrayal. This particular piece is one of her most well known. It is confessional in nature in that Das is professing her own deep emotions in regard to the patriarchal controlling her life and the lives of countless suffering women. She played a critical role in the establishment of indian feminist movement an introduction is a 60 line poem that is contained within a single stanza written in free verse question number 7 kamala das was from option a kerala option b mumbai option c karnataka and option d bengal she is from kerala which is in option a Let's move towards the highlighters. Kamala Surya Suraya, popularly known on her one time by her one time pen name Madhavi Kutti, and uh, married named Kamala Das, was an Indian poet in English as well as an author in Malayalam from Kerala, India. She was born in nineteen thirty four on March thirty first. She died on thirty first May two thousand nine in Pune, and his spouse's name is Madhava Das. Question number eight: In which poem Kamala Das ironically provides a panacea for a happy married life, husband and wives? Here is my advice to you: Obey each other's crazy commands. Option A: The Descendants. Option B: An Introduction. Option C: In Love. and option d composition so here option a is correct the descendants 
the poem the descendants by kamala das is colored with nihilism and shows that descendants is irrevocable and there is no possibility of any redemption it ends on a note of pessimism we are not going to be ever redeemed or made new kamala das had spent her young oh sorry youth in gentle sinning which was quite harmless what was okay question number 9 what was the pen name of kamala das option a suraya option b madhavi kutti option c kamala option d das so here your option b is correct that is madhavi kutti question number 10 kamala das is popularly known for her option a confessional poetry option b dramatic monologue option c ballad and option d sonnets so here your option a is correct that is confessional poetry let's see the highlighters kamala das is one of the well known of her confessional writings has all the time been disparaged for her extreme honesty as well as commonness other than the comprehensive investigation of her poetic works demonstrate how she has attained her objective in presenting the genuine portrait of women in a male dominated society question number 11 which of the following is not written by kamala das option a question number 11 which of the following is not written by kamala das the freaks summer in calcutta to india my native land option d ante kanta here option c is correct that is to my to india my native land is not written by kamala das to india my native land is a poem by indian poet henry louis vivian de rosio published in 1828 as part of his book the fakir of jangira a metrical tale and other poems it is one of the most notable works by the indian poet written in 1828 in patarkan sanat i am big pentameter it has followed rhymic scheme is a b a b a b c c d e d e f f it is of 14 lines i told you it is a patarkan sonnet the poem shows influence of romantic poets question number 12 which of the following is written by kamala das cradle song coromandel fishes fishers option c in the bazaars of hyderabad the stone age here correct answer is the stone age the poem the stone age by kamala das has been taken from the collection of poems called the old playhouse and other poems which was published in the year 1973 the poem shows the relevance of extramarital affairs in a ruined marital life it reveals the pathos of the female speaker who is deprived of her individuality and freedom by her lustful husband and dehumanized her beyond limits she loses all her identity as a female in this life of suffocation and utter neglect the poem talks about the loss of a female's individuality question number 13 when was kamala das born option a 1934 option b 35 1935 option c 1933 and option d 1931 so here it is 1934 Let's move to another question. Question number fourteen: Who is the author? Who is the author of *Summer in Calcutta*? Here, your option A is Nizam H. K. L. Option B, A. K. Ramanujan. Option C, Kamala Das. And option D, Toru Dutt. Here is slight spelling mistake. Please correct it, friends. Toru Dutt. Here, answer is option C, Kamala Das. Kamala Das wrote *Summer in* Calcutta In the poem Summer in Calcutta Kamala Das remembers a 
summer day which she spent in Calcutta. As described in the poem, it is the month of April and the poet was enjoying her time. In the first part, the poet explains how she felt in the sun. In the second part, she asks her husband's forgiveness for forgetting him while being intoxicated in the sun sign. In the third part, she describes the short span of that pleasurable moment. Question number 15. The Old Playhouse and Other Poems was written by Option A. Nizim Ejkiel Option B. A. K. Ramanujan Option C. Kamala Das and Option D. Toru Dat. Here Option C is correct that is Kamala Das. In Toru Dat there is some error. Okay. The spelling error. The Old Playhouse published in 1973 in the old playhouse and other poems it is a poem of protest against patriarchy in which kamala das voices against the domination of the male and the subsequent dwarfing of the female the poetess expresses the common expectations of the male dominated indian society Question number 16. The Dance of Unages has been written by Option A. Nijim HKL Option B. A. K. Ramanujan Option C. Kamala Das and Option D. Toru Dat. So here Option C is correct. Kamala Das. The poem The Dance of Unuch by Kamala Das is quite symbolic and confusing. The poet, who is a victim of patriarchal society, talks about the dance of transgender. Let's move to question number 17. I am very woman who seeks love. These lines are from the poem by Option A. Nijim Ejkiel Option B. A. K. Ramanujan Option C. Kamala Das and Option D. Toru Dat. So here Option C is correct. Kamala Das. Taken from an introduction by Kamala Das. The lines are taken from an introduction from the from the writer Kamala Das. An introduction by Kamala Das was published in her first collection, Summer in Calcutta in 1965. The collection focused on love and the pain that follows betrayal. This particular piece is one of the most well known. It is confessional in nature in that Das is professing his own deep emotions in regard in regards to the patriarchy controlling her life and the lives of countless suffering women she played a critical role in the establishment of the indian feminist movement an introduction is a 60 line poem that is contained within a single stanza written in blank verse Question number 18. Which poem of Kamala Das has the following expression? Why not leave me alone? Critics, friends, visiting cousins, every one of you. Why not me speak in any language I like? Your options are the maggots, option B, the doubt, option C, an introduction and option D, luminol. Here your answer is an introduction. This is the poetry from where? The lines are extracted. Taken from an introduction by Kamala Das. An introduction by Kamala Das was published in her first collection, Summer in Calcutta in 1965. The collection focuses on love and the pain that follows betrayal. This particular piece is one of the most well known. It is confessional in nature in that Das is professing her own deep emotions in regard to the patriarchy controlling her life and the lives of countless suffering women. She played a critical role in the establishment of the Indian feminist movement. An introduction is a 60-line poem that is contained within a single stanza 
written in blank verse question number 19 which of the following is not a poem by kamala das option a summer in calcutta the dance of the unicus option c night of scorpion and krishna so here option c is correct that is night of scorpion because this is written by nijim hkl let's see the highlighters the poem night of the scorpion by nijim hkl is about an accident or incident that the poet has not forgotten in his life it is about a mother being bitten by scorpion and uh, she was suffering she was crying howling in front of villagers but they could not do anything it was a night when a scorpion bit his mother and all the superstitious villagers did irrational things rather than helping her the poem exposes the superstition that dominates the mind of indian indians and also the motherhood of a lady who just only of her children even in the worst conditions the poem has no rhyme scheme it has eight stanzas with a different number of lines in each question number 20 kamala das got kerala sahitya academy award in the year option a 1985 option b 1969 option c 1964 and option d 1965 So here your correct answer is option B 1969 Let's see the highlighters Okay this we have already done so please go through it Okay friends the list of the awards we have already discussed in earlier highlighters so please go through that and you may take a screenshot of these dates so that you can remember it well okay these date years are uh, rather so that you can remember well now we have completed the mcqs on kamala das you all can revise the rest of the mcqs till then we come with another video take care and all the best for your revision work thank you friends